Hello again everybody, this is the Redstoners. Today it's going to be me, Alex. And I'm coming at you guys with a new video today. And it's going to be on how to install single player commands for 1.8. And it just came out the other day, I've been waiting a while for this. And I know you guys have been eager and been waiting for this too. So here it is, and this is for Mac. Sorry Windows fans, but I'm a Mac. <laughs> so, um, basically, uh, a little announcements. Uh, Thanks guys for more subscribers, and please go to our Twitter, I put that in the description, uh, follow us on Twitter, and uh, also, I had uh, Too Many Items vi um, too many items 1.8 video, how to install it, um, That I, I think I did that last week, and I just did a uh, the Zombie Fly Mod the other day, so go check those two videos out, um, I've been, been getting a lot of good feedback, so guys, hope you like them. So, uh... I think we're ready so we can get started. So basically first what you're going to want to do like always open up your Minecraft and if you haven't already updated you're going to want to update to 1.8 and I think the the um, the newest one's 1.8.1. 1 .1. So and then this single player commands thing it's going to be it's going to be for everything. I mean all the 1.8s whatever come out. So so uh, if you guys have already updated, let's start. So go to your Google, I mean Sorry, Google your browser. Open your browser up, and there's a few links that you're gonna need me to find, and I'll put these in the description. But if you don't want to go in the description, just type in single player commands, and this should pop up. Open it up on Google, and then you should see this Minecraft forum page single player commands. Next, what we're gonna need is mod loader, Brigasami's mod loader. So type in mod loader, and it should pop up as well. I'll put this in the description. So those are the two things we need. So first of all, for single player commands, if you guys don't know what it is, uh, you can read about it here. Go, just scroll down. There's a lot of cool stuff that he put on his page. So just read all about it, all the stuff you can do in it, and all the commands are in here and how to use them and everything are there. I'm not going to explain them because there's a lot of them as you can see. So basically go there and uh, here are the downs. You want to scroll down, I think, to like, I guess three quarter like the halfway down the page almost and you'll see all these downloads now don't download the automated installer I don't really know how to use this yet but here I'm showing you how to download it manually so don't do the automated one which is up here because I did that by accident you're gonna do the classic download and either you could do direct or preferred and preferred will bring you to an ad fly page like this and it may have some ads but just press, press skip ads skip ad and it should give you uh, the uh, the zip file. The next for Rigasami's mods, and also um, I've been having a lot of like uh, error report. Like a lot of people have been saying all these errors. Oh, I have a black screen. All this stuff. Well, I don't really know exactly how to you know solve these all the time. Sometimes when I know it, I'll message you. But if I don't message you, don't think I just don't want to. It's just the fact that I don't know how. So if you don't know how, just go to here, and I'm pretty sure. If you pass these videos, there's a troubleshooting, and there's a lot of different stuff about Mac, everything. So you guys just check that out. Um, and then also for Mod Loader, he's got a lot of freq frequently asked questions right here. So you can see all those. Don't ask me. But if it's a little thing, I'll probably message you back. So so now to Rigasami's mods, you're going to scroll down a little bit. And you should see the mods, and it says Mod Loader Beta 1.8.1. .1. So you can either do direct or add fly, and I'm going to do add fly. And you just press skip add, should give it to you. So now, what we should have downloaded downloaded is single player commands.zip and uh, modloader.zip. So we can close out of our browser. And we're going to open up Finder, go to our downloads, and we should get these two zip files modloader.zip and single player commands.zip. Open these up. And also, if you did the automated um, ins installation, if you download that, it should be a jar. So that means you did it wrong. So it should be a zip when you download it. So you don't need these, zip these zips anymore. So we can delete those. Okay. So first of all, what we're gonna want to do. So if you're using, um, if you're using uh, Snow Leopard, I'm using OSX Lion for so Snow Leopard users. First of all, to find where we're gonna start modding stuff is our Minecraft folder. For Snow Leopard, you're going to want to go to your uh, username or your home folder, which mine is Rios. And then you'll see a folder in here called Library. Go there, open it up, and now wait for a second. 
And now for OSX line users, you're going to want to uh, go to the top of the menu bar and it, where it says go, press that, and then press option, hold down option, and you should see stuff drop down and it shows library. So you see that right there? So press library. So both users should see the should the, see the screen right now. The very top application support, open that up. And then if, you, if you're not at the very top, scroll down a little and you should see Minecraft. Minecraft folder in lowercase letters. Open that up. And uh, yours is going to be a lot different from mine because I have some mods installed already. So all we need is the bin at the very top. Open that up. And now we're in our bin folder and this is where we're going to start modding. So first of all, before we even start, you should see minecraft.jar, not the minecraft 1.5 underscore 01 dot jar. Right under it, there should be a minecraft.jar. You wanna, um, you're going to want to add dot zip to it, so rename it, so it's minecraft.jar dot zip, just like that. should ask you, you want to change extension from jar to zip, say you zip, and it should make it a zip file. Double click it, should extract it, and make a minecraft.jar folder. And before we're done with this, Rename the minecraft.jar.zip to whatever you want. I'll just rename mine backup. You don't have to. Whatever you want. And take off the zip at the very end. There you go. And it says, are you sure you want to use the jar? Say use jar. There you go. So now it's minecraft backup.jar. So now let's open up that minecraft.jar. Open it up. It's going to be a lot of these files in here. So before you even start anything, press M. Or scroll down to the M's, which brings you down to your M, uh, your M files. You'll see a meta inf folder right there. Double click that, open that, and delete all those files. There should be three files, but delete. Usually, you should delete all the meta inf folder, uh, all the files inside the meta inf. Delete those. We don't need them anymore. So now we can start. Uh, now you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um, open up a new Finder window. You don't really have to. I mean, well, I mean, I guess, but you don't have to use a new space like I'm doing right now. So open up a new Finder window, and you're gonna go to your downloads open up your mod loader folder and you should see all these class files in there select them all it should be 15 items copy them command c whatever you want to do now go back to that minecraft.jar folder paste them into there and a pop-up should come up and say do you want to replace all files you say apply to all click the checkbox and then replace and it should replace all the things paste them in now we'll go back to our downloads folder and we'll open single player commands folder right there. Now we, there's a lot, a lot of uh, files in here. So, so we don't mix up anything or mess it up. You're gonna want to uh, select the top one and then press hold shift and select the bottom, which bottom one, which selects them all. Now before you even start to copy these, you'll see two files that we don't need. So the first one at the very top is the readme.txt, which is right here. You want to unselect that. So command and press it like that. So it's unselected. And one more, world edit jar, which is at the very bottom. So yeah, unselect those two files, and you should be copying about 26 files. Copy them, go back to your minecraft.jar, paste them in there, and then it should say replace. There we go. So now we're done with modding the minecraft.jar, but these two files, you don't need to read me, but one file we do need is this world edit jar at the very bottom. So we're going to uh, copy, we're gonna go to that one, worldedit.jar, copy it, go back to our minecraft.jar folder, but we're going to go back into our bin folder, so back, and now we're going to paste our worldedit.jar into here, and now we're done with the modding. So we installed it correctly, now let's see how it worked, which it should have worked. Okay. Let's see. Alright, so now once it's past that loading screen, the Mojang symbol, now we know it's done, so let's make for sure. I mean, I know it's done, but let's just, I want to show you what it looks like. Open this up. And a one, no, let me just turn off the sound. One thing that you'll see right when you, when you open up the, uh, the world, to know for sure that it worked, it should say single player commands and then some HTTP something. But to use it, simply just type it, press T, and then a little uh, a box, chat box will pop up. So there's a lot of cool diff different commands, and one command, if you don't have the fly mod, uh, if you didn't install that, type in fly, 
you can fly up and down, which is kind of cool. There you go. You just turn it back off, just press fly. There we go. So, and if you need help, you can either go to the forum page or you can just type in help on here and it shows you all the commands, but it doesn't really tell you how to use them. So that's why you should go to the forum itself. So, uh, I guess that's it. Um, this is my monk, uh, my 1.8 world. Try not to use hacks on here, but got watermelons. So yeah, guys, and soon I'll be making a uh, 1.8 update video. So everything about 1.8, it's going to be a few parts because there's a lot in this update, a lot of stuff to show you guys. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, hope you guys liked the video. Um, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. I'll put that in the uh, description. So follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.